I had a thought a while back that it might be kind of fun to do a toucan unboxing video. So I put this on the table here and we're going to see if she comes over. And there she is. She's always super interested in whatever it is you're doing, especially if you're opening something. In case you guys have stumbled onto this video looking for a legit review, uh, I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle some information in my opinions and impressions on the phone. We'll just see how this goes. This is going to be a little impromptu, but hopefully it'll be cool. What is that? What's in there? This is the most interesting thing in the entire world. Oh. She's probably going to fly off with that and try to hoard it. And there she goes. What do you have, bird? You want to show it to me? Can I have it? Can I have it? Nope, she don't want to give it up. As usual. Yeah, you better devour it and tear it apart like a small animal. Yeah, I see it. What do you think about it? You want to see what else is in the box? Or are you happy with that? I'm filming this with the, my Nexus 6P. Uh, in case you're wondering, I'll probably be filming on the Pixel XL from now on after this. Um, and normally I go with the Nexus line, but obviously they've discontinued that for the Pixel, so I had to try it this year. What happened? You dropped it? Can't get down there, can you? What else is in there? What else is in there? Check it out. And I've already opened the box just to make sure there wasn't anything she could eat inside of it, but... They do like to sample things from time to time, so you gotta watch them. Normally they just throw them back up, but I don't want to take any chances. What else is in there, bird? So the, the XL comes with a 5.5 inch 1440p screen, a 12 megapixel camera that can film up to 2160p video. In other words, 4K. Snapdragon 821 with 4 gigs of RAM and a 3450 milliamp battery. Oh yeah, the plastic's definitely the best part. Plastic and cardboard. Uh, so far, I just, I just got the phone, I don't know, a couple hours ago. I've been just trying to set it up. It had this, I don't know if this is a new feature or not, it had a cool thing where you could connect the cable from one phone to the other to transfer all your information and your data, pictures, all that good stuff. I've never seen that before. The screen so far looks really, it's definitely brighter than my 6P. So I like the screen a lot so far. The whites seem really bright. It just seems really easy to see out in the daylight. I like the new, I've had Android 7, 7 and 7.1 now for a few months on my 6P, so I'm already familiar with some of the features, but all the new features I like, especially with the, with the Pixel, you can swipe down on the fingerprint sc scanner to get the uh, notification window down. So this is, this is kind of, a lot of people are comparing it to an iPhone. Uh, I haven't really had any experience with the newer iPhones, but 
the build quality is really good. Uh, Apple has always had good hardware. I've just never been a big fan of their software. So far, uh, you know, I, I, I really like the phone. Uh, I don't have a case for it yet. I've got a Spigen hybrid case coming in, or the Neo hybrid, or whatever it's called. Uh, I didn't know if this thing was going to ship so soon. It wasn't supposed to ship till next month, but I got it in today. Toucan's favorite thing to do, just throw everything on the ground and then look at it. What else is in there? There you go. You got that part open now. It's kind of hard to maneuver that beak around, isn't it? Now she's getting kind of pissed at it. There you go. that a cord a little blue thing on the cord is what you want there's two sizes of the pixels there's the XL and the standard size comes with 32 or 128 gig storage capacity uh, mine is 128 I kind of wish it came in 64 honestly because last time I got 128 I didn't even use anywhere near that much on my 6p and the last time I got 32, it wasn't enough. So, but other than that, I like the phone so far. Uh, I wish the bezels were a little smaller, and the I wish the speaker was on the front rather than on the bottom, like on the 6P. But it has an aluminum body in this glass panel on the back around on the fingerprint scanner. Um, the construction feels very solid. I was afraid they were going to do the whole, make the entire back glass, but they haven't. Uh, they say the glass is for aesthetics, but I've read somewhere that it's to help with antenna strength. I'm not sure if that's a rumor or not, but the phone looks really nice. I was skeptical when I first saw it in pictures, but in person it looks it, it looks really nice, and I can really see they're going for that premium feel, like uh, a lot of the newer Samsung phones or uh, even the new or the newest iPhones. <laughs> what happened, bird? He just pushed it on the ground, just like every other thing ever. I'll try to get a few photos with the camera and post them up here. Uh, I'll try to take some of Ripley, but she doesn't sit still very well, as you can see. So I'll, I'll throw some up here, and uh, you should be seeing them right now, actually. Oh, she discovered the remote. Her favorite thing is to press the red button on the remote, which just so happens to be the power button. Oh, would you look at that. Yep, it's pretty interesting, huh? We spend hundreds of dollars on toys for her. And her favorite things are cardboard boxes, chapstick, 
and TV remotes. And keys, of course. What do you see, bird? See something? And she is gone. Let me know if you guys want me to do more videos like this where she's unboxing or looking through things or if you'd like to see her just interact with something. Let me know in the comments below. Honestly, I, I've had her for over two years now and I, I don't get tired of watching her. She's just the most curious, inquisitive animal I think I've ever seen. And go ahead and subscribe and like the video and all that cool YouTube stuff.